What is percolating? What is up and what is good YouTube, the World Wide Web? As you guys can see in Live HD, it is your host of the most, Paul Cantu, coming through with a huge mother thrift haul. That is right. If you guys saw my previous trip to the thrift video, trip to the thrift number 80, damn that's a lot of trip to the thrift videos, then you will realize that I came across a plethora, a butt ton, a motherfucker elephant ass load of shit. <laughs> at the thrift stores. So without further ado, I'm gonna crack into a bunch of the items that I acquired yesterday and actually show some other items that I also thrifted a couple days ago as well. All right guys, so we're actually gonna start the thrift haul by showing off snapbacks that I picked up. It has been a very long time since I came across some fire ass vintage snapbacks, but as you guys saw, I definitely found a butt ton in this trip to the thrift video. So the first one I got right here is this a Boston Red Sox a pinstripe all red snapback gray underwear right there. This is by OG Cap right there. As you guys can see, one size fits all. I spent five bucks on this beautiful ass hat. It fits perfectly. If any of you guys would like it, definitely be sure to email me. And that goes for anything that is in this thrift haul. If you guys would like to purchase any of it, hit me up. My email is in the description down below. So the next hat that I actually acquired was this really sick Carolina Panthers shockwave hat right here by Starter. I mean, that Starter logo on the back is just unfuck wittable. Gray under brim right there, and it is the right hat by Starter. This thing similarly fits amazingly. It has a nice lipstick stain right there, so whoever was wearing this was getting some major prostitute head. But this is dope as hell, and I'm very, very happy about acquiring this at the thrift. I got it for four bucks. Fuck with me. So the next hat, similarly to the Boston one, is this dope-ass Minnesota Twins cocaine crown, navy blue pinstripes, red hits on the tits, M embroidered in, snapback right here. Whoever was previously wearing this had a massive fucking head, but I got this for $5 right there. Look how clean the sweatband is. I doubt this has ever been worn. It is sexy as fuck, and I'm very happy to have it in the collection. $4. Fuck with your boy. And then as savers, as always, I stunned on the haters with two other hat acquisitions. The first of which was this primitive hat right here with this dope ass cheetah print brim right there. What's your favorite color, Paul? My favorite color? Cheetah print. But yeah, man, it has a dope cheetah print brim, really fire cheetah print button as well. To keep it real, I thought I would keep this in the collection because it got a P on it and that's what my name starts with. But unfortunately, this thing I don't really like see myself wearing. So if you guys want this, definitely be sure to hit your boy up. And then last but not least, I got some Polo Fuego. I got this Ralph Lauren floppy brim Velcro back. Ralph Lauren fragrances with the three embroidered on the back, three embroidered on the brim, and this really a dope ass leprechaun colorway. This is three bucks. I'm keeping this, so don't even ask me. All right, now getting into the shoes I got as well because I know that's what you guys love to see. Of course, it wouldn't be a trip to the thrift without this crown jewel of a Stealth Air Jordan 3 on deck. This thing's pretty dope. I mean, it has paint chipping on the midsole. The jump man looks good. The laces need to be cleaned. I'm about to clean this down with some nice suede cleaner from AngelusDirect.com. The bottoms have a bit of heel drag and shit looking like someone landed a plane in these bitches. <laughs> Stealth 3, bitch. A tip in my jaw. And then another pair of J's that I got for myself are these really sick Air Jordan Wands right here. I'm calling them J-U-A-N-S's because I can do that and they also have the Mexican flag embroidery all up in the Nike check and in the midsole section. So yeah, I was really happy about actually getting these for 13 bucks. I probably will customize them unless one of you guys would like to acquire them before I do so. But yeah, dude, the red laces are ugly as fuck, not even gonna lie. Looks like some weird ass licorice is straight up in these eaglets. Really, really happy about this cocaine straight from Mexico. I'm in love with the coco. All right, YouTube, now getting into the massive acquisitions. We're going to start with the outerwear first of balls. So one of my personal favorite outerwear pieces in this trip to the thrift video was, of course, the Buffalo Bills hoodie I got right here. It's just vintage as fuck. It's by Nutmeg, which is a great brand. They make really cool shit. It has blue color blocking, bread on the back, a split colored hood. I mean, you cannot be mad at that. It's a dope ass hoodie overall. Next up, what I got, thanks to the homie Jacob Starr in HFE. So if you guys ever find any dope ass, high fashion as fuck vintage pieces, definitely be sure to tag us on Instagram or just use the hashtag HFV. But because of him, I knew that Columbia jackets are actually worth some shit because not too many people rock them and shock them down here in Texas. But I got this super like vicious vintage ass Columbia jacket right here. It has no hood, but this thing is straight up teal as fuck. It's the Mighty Ducks colorway. Nice ass hits of that like coating purple maroon coloration right there. Really high quality, no stains, no nothing. This is size large by Columbia Sportswear. It says 
powder keg embroidered on the back right there. And to keep it 1000 with you guys, I have no idea the full extent and spectrum of this jacket's possibilities, but I'm pretty sure they're endless. I got this for eight bucks. It's size large. Once again, I'm not going to be keeping this. So one of you guys get it off my hands. If you want a really dope ass, clean Columbia teal jacket, straight 90s, straight flame. Straight the next jacket in the mix is this Nike flame right here. Now this jacket actually came with a matching pants. It's in a really sick ass powder blue colorway right there. Hits of cocaine, hits of black. I mean, look at this dude. Right on the back going down the spinal cord, you got these nice ass hits that point straight at the ass right there. So if you got a big booty, this definitely will draw all the attention in the world to it. This is size extra large. And then as if that wasn't enough, it came with the matching pants to boot. I mean, it got Nike embroidered with the Smurf pubes right there. Really nice ass hits of black and white on the sides. Dope ass YKK zips on the bottom of the cuffs. So definitely get at me if you guys would like these. I already have someone interested. But yeah, dude, these are fucking flamey. And then last but not least, shout out to my Canadians named Brandon Motherfucker Style File. We got this dope ass Canada hoodie right here. It has an all red riding hood interior, red laces, licorice on deck. It has Canada printed on with like 3 million Canadian flags. It has like 18 flags on the sleeves forming a nice checkerboard pattern right there. And this thing is just dope as hell. It's size medium. Wait, let me check. Yeah, this size medium, I got it for $3. It's unfuckwittable. It's Canadian. I'm not, so hit me up if you guys want this. God, I don't want this. I just got texted. Who's it from? Man, fuck. It's more of my fucking group. You ain't no bitch. Don't text me then. Oh, yeah, you are. Fuck. Hey, what's up, boo? Hey, boo. Just about this. I'm making a video. Come through. We can make a video. Thin. See, you guys think I'm playing. I'm actually not. I literally just sent that text message. See, I don't play none of that bullshit. I be about it, yo. I be about that shit, yo. Fuck <laughs> with So now getting into the shirts and jerseys and shit. The first jersey I picked up a couple days back when I was on the phone with my boo, Jake, a motherfucking star. And I got this Orlando Magic Kids Penny Hardaway jersey right there for four bucks. I got this for my future little midget that I'm gonna raise. And then I got some more Kid Fuego, so yes, maybe somebody in my life is Prego. But uh, not really though. This man, that shit, fuck, is that wood? Ha <laughs> I'm safe! Shut the fuck up, bitch! But no, I got this really dope Ralph Lauren polo for kids. And then next up, I have a jersey and a polo combined. I have this fire ass Wallabies rugby jersey right here. Now I've never watched rugby in my life. That shit hella confusing. But for all the people down under, this thing is dope as fuck. I mean, you got a kangaroo straight playing ball about a slap box of penguin. JK is gonna slap boxes here, ostrich or whatever the fuck that is. This is by Canterbury right there. Look at the embroidery, it's crazy. Then you also have another like dope ass Quantanas or whatever the fuck that says. Straight from Mexico, call it Quintana. And then it has this sick ass number six on the back. And then it has all this crazy ass honeycomb like pattern straight up screen printed on. Dope ass hits of pine green with a nice ass piss mustard yellow coloration all over this thing. This is dope as hell. It's size large. I got it for like $4. I probably won't wear this. Actually, I may. But if you guys want it, definitely once again, email me. All right. So the next two items, of course, are FUBU Flame because a thrift haul wouldn't be complete without some FUBU fucking fire. So, of course, in the kids size large section, we have this dope ass FUBU Dallas Cowboys colorway embroidered jersey right here. Yes, the letters are a bit small because it is kids, but this thing fits me like an adult motherfucker medium and or small. So I had to go ahead and acquire this fire. But yeah, look at that. FUBU 05 embroidered on the sleeves. FUBU Sports insignia. FUBU on the back with stars. This is crazy. So I had to get it. The next FUBU flame wasn't acquired in the last trip to the thrift, but it is still worth a mention. It is this pinstriped baseball jersey by FUBU. It has Mary embroidered right there in the cocaine embroidery, but I'm probably gonna like get Jane embroidered under it because you know we'll be smoking on that reefer though. On the back, it has FUBU in a script 05, and then three really tiny yet sassy, classy patches on the booty region right there. And now we got even more shirts, so I'm just gonna fire through these. We have this like trippy ass Enchanted Forest. I just smoked a bunch of crack with homeless people shirt right here. It got nymphs, it got gnomes. This dude giving a thumbs up because he about to put his thumb in that ass. But yeah, man, fire size extra large, 99 cents. 
fuck with your boy. I also got some Native American flame right here. These guys are about to straight murk these buffaloes by like sending arrowheads through their skulls and shit. You got two little buffaloes right over there that somehow evaded the action. But this thing was only two bucks. Had to get it size large. What's up? I also got this here panda shirt going straight to China in this bitch. These, uh, these pandas about to make love. You feel me? They're gonna like bring back their population single-handedly because they got some motherfucker like sexual uh, horniness problems and stuff. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> and then I also got this size small one world one game shirt that I'm giving to my sister. She plays soccer forever. She taught me how to be good at soccer. Now really I taught myself. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. You guys already know a thrift haul wouldn't be complete without some NASCAR race car flame. So yeah, I got this really sick ass <coughs> Excuse me. Sizzling Summer Speed Week t-shirt right here. I'm not sure what type of car that is because I'm a poser and I don't race cars. But it has all these like cool words on the back that I'm not about to read. O'Reilly definitely came through with this dope ass coding colorway like printed on Sizzling Summer shirt. I also got this racing shirt that says Lowe's for all them hoes out there. And now the last item that I got in this trip to the thrift really isn't the most bomb item ever. It's just a simple ass not really simple at all. More flamboyantly crazy, loud printed on Hawaiian shirt. You got this lady uh, with some coconuts on her titties. Now really she's wearing like this weird ass dress. But I figured this was in like a Mishka-esque like colorway. This is on some Elwood type of shit. It's just like crazy loud as fuck. And of course I love having a more loud flamboyant style. So I had to get this. <laughs> So basically that wraps up this entire mother freaking video. I have a big ass like stack of haul of clothes all piled up right there. Once again, if any of you guys want any of the items, be sure to email me. And also before I go, for the winners of the giveaway, yes, winners, we're about to announce them right now. Stay tuned for this shit, I'll be back. So the winners of the Hype and Mark Wynn giveaway are actually written on this really professional piece of paper. So the winner of the Hype giveaway, the grand prize winner who gets the socks and this dope ass Versace hat is actually Brandon L right there. So congrats bro. Now the person who won this really cool strap back right here, this five panel is actually Pilju Kim. So P-I-L-L-J-U Kim right there. You got this homie, so definitely be sure to email me as well. And then the winner of this Mark win hundred dollar watch with a dope ass bubble wrap is actually Eduardo Vargas and his comment was kind of funny he's like I, I don't know the time or some shit like that it actually was random but it's funny that that's the comment that won this he's like I don't know the time so I need a watch well here's your watch bro congrats and then also as a bonus giveaway because the person who won my cousin's brand giveaway and never got back to me is actually Cry Crazen or Crazen Wolf and you actually won this really dope ass Cousins brand Continentals size large tank top right here. So if you guys were one of the four very lucky giveaway winners, definitely be sure to type in giveaway winner as a subject to your email that you send me. My email is in the description down below once again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Even if you won and didn't win, it doesn't matter. We're all winners if you're in the Cantu Riding Candy Blue Crew. I will catch you guys next time. Live the dream and eat ice cream. Peace. Sleeping a bloody life, I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to